the car driving from Cha Chun Sao, where we just uh, filmed for my patrons with Boon Lai, or Tana Kun, um, at a military base. Which was an amazing get for the library. It was very cool, and it was one of these uh, sessions where he's like, I don't know what to do <laughs> because he hasn't been a regular teacher, but then once you get these guys going, they're just endless in their knowledge and abilities and I don't know, the things that they have to show are so cool. Uh, so now we're driving into Bangkok to pick up Karahat, who's coming with us to Chiang Mai, um, and I'm fighting tomorrow. It was very cool that uh, we got his head kick. So, Moon Lai has this head kick that in my uh, Instagram share of the photo of us after the session I described as wrapping around the back of your neck like a face hugger from Alien. <laughs> it's just like, Is it just, yes, it's a little bit horrifying and he has amazing control over it. But even with the control, it's like people who have really accurate punches, even if they just touch you with their knuckles, you can feel this power and sharpness that you're like, don't touch me. I've so, never like, seen a head kick. We've been around a lot of great fighters. I've never quite seen a head kick like his. It's weird. He doesn't like dip his own head very far to the side, but he gets, it comes up very, very straight. It's like an exaggerated golden kick, yeah. sort of. Yeah. But it like, it, it comes up higher and then alights down on the back of your neck to kill you. <laughs> has a very beautiful arc, but also hard to see when it's coming. It's off impossible the to see, and he likes to throw it when you're the one coming forward. So, like, he's backing up, backing up, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get you, and then you're like, why am I waking up in the locker room? Yeah, it's, it's, it's he can throw it from any position. It's like Yokun Pan's hand. Uh, he's very comfortable with it, yeah. yeah it's very and super accurate. Yeah. It was very sweet. We filmed on a, what was it, a military? It's the base? 11th Infantry in Cha Chun Sao. Um, it's a military base. Uh, and it was a cool gym. Kevin really liked the gym. It's not really a gym for people, though. It's it's, it's literally military. a gym. It's like where the military people work out, and it's got a ring in it. And they have, like, two pairs of pads. Yeah, just for <laughs> and the we people who are like, where can I go to this gym? But it's <laughs> totally. not... That's the cool thing about the library is we're going places where nobody goes. It's very hidden. Like, where is Boon Lai? He's in this, like, barracks gym. We actually, we asked when we were, it's Sunday, so the military base is actually closed today. So, um, when we were on our way in, uh, the, like, <laughs> ten-year-old soldiers who guard the gate... Um, were like asking me for my ID and stuff and when I was like I'm just trying to find the Muay Thai ring they were like oh oh come right in <laughs> they like told us where to turn but we missed it and when I asked the second set of soldiers where it was they didn't understand me for a minute and then they ended up guiding us which was really nice they like drove us over yeah. we would have passed that for sure totally. it looked like nothing but when you're saying 10 year old soldiers you're they're not really 10 years old I'm an old person now so like <laughs> 18 year old anyone really under 25 <laughs> they're probably 21 or 22 because that's when you join the military in Thailand but they look really young. very sweet big machine gun big gun <laughs> <laughs> pointed at the ground yeah yeah um yeah so it's fun yeah you have another question you said you were maybe gonna ask me maybe maybe that was a maybe though. that was a maybe Chucky uh, well, is there well so what was that like for you to be? I don't know. We were trying to get Boon Lai for a very long time, and people were asking for Boon Lai. Yeah, like, people please, have, please get Boon Lai, Boon Lai. Uh, people who watch the the library have been asking for Boon Lai, and he's hard to find. Um, this is one of these things: is that these legends are not always in gyms or teaching. You know, like Samson is a taxi driver, um, so being able to find them and train with them is hard in and of itself, but then when they're not necessarily um, training regularly, being like, hey, show me your style is not something that uh, they're always like, oh, I know exactly what that means. Like, Karahat's like, yeah, no problem, everything's my style. Um, but I was really struck by how Boon Lai 
Lai's style is absolutely only Boon Lai. Like, it's very particular to him, but it has elements of it which are kind of very much like Karahat and very much like Yod Kun Pan, which is kind of the yeah, combination the that I'm, like, way and, into. And there's also a little bit of Silipatai in him. It's a little Silipatai. Because of that beautiful kick that he relies on. And Kevin thinks that the um, straightness of his kick is like Gansok, which makes sense because Boon Lai actually started at Sword Plunge Gym. He has a very straight leg in his kick. It's a, not a flexed. But it's not bending. tight. Like it's no. not a. It's not a like flexed leg. It's but almost, it's very straight, like a baseball bat. Yeah, almost a little bit like a some arts uh, arrow, straight arrow end on his kick a little bit. It's a, I will be very interested in watching the film. And we were able to get. We're starting to do slow motion captures of these guys. We were able to get slow motion on. Uh, his kick in shadow. His head kick. And his head kick in shadow, so we can really see the arc of all the mechanics. He also corrected my kick in the same way that Samar corrected my kick, and Sagat corrected my kick, mm. which is you turn the shin down a little bit on impact, mm. which like digs it in. But the point is that that's how you accelerate at the end of the kick, but it also allows you to sneak in if people are trying to block. It kind of like, it's like how an arrow spins or a bullet uh, spins. Yeah, that's a very good analogy. I like As that. though I know anything. So, so people have said you have good analogies. <laughs> <laughs> and now Kevin believes that. Oh my goodness, it's true. <laughs> I've been married for 10 years and he's oh like, Oh my God, oh. this analogy. <laughs> It's right. like something that turns. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was a good analogy. And now you're going up to fucking Tanan Chinook. Yeah. Fucking world champion at 51 kilos. Yeah, so uh, we're heading up to Chiang Mai, and I asked Cobb who I'm fighting, and it's Tanan Chinook, Yosem Rit, who actually just uh, won a title in Japan on December 16th or 17th. Um, she's been world champion forever, like six, seven years, something like that. Um, and she's when much, she's much bigger than me. Like, yeah. Um, so she's the champion at 51 kilos, but that is not what she weighs when she fights me. She's maybe 53 or 54. Um, no way, 53, we'll Probably see. 54. We'll see. They, we weigh in at the stadium. Um, I'm not that. I'm 46 right now. But she's um, gonna try to take take back that loss that she took to. Yeah, but the ex she's I beat her last I beat her last time, and she's going to not be nice to me this time. No. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of exciting that I get to fight standing world champions a few weight classes above me. Um, At the drop of a hat. And that someone fucking seven kilos bigger than me is like we have to beat Sylvie to regain our name and I'm like I'm tiny something that uh, Boon Lai said is he was talking about when he fought Nam Kabun, uh, and Nam Kabun plowed him because that's what Nam Kabun does and he was like why are you plowing me you're huge <laughs> it's like I've had that feeling where people are fighting me and I'm like why are you doing this you're so much he bigger he also said that was his most cherished victory yeah he was most time. happy with that victory beating Nam Kabun. Um, he, he threw an uppercut that made Nam Kaboon, like, stagger, which I'm sure felt very good. Totally. Nam Kaboon also not nice in the ring. <laughs> He's very aggressive. Yeah. yeah. He's I, coming at you. I like when he does that. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Going Notes to pick up Karahat. Road. Notes from the road. All right. Sylvia out.